Mahmoud here is black and old. From a time past, Ukraine didn't feel it was winning, taking heavy losses and struggling to hold on. But the Russian enemy is something new. This is the very front line with Russian positions literally 100 meters away from where I'm standing. The Kremlin really wants the city of Bakhmut. So here, on its edges, it sent ruthless mercenaries from the Wagner Group to fight. The shelling endless. We are taken up to their vantage point from where they see the Wagner fighters rush at them, leading the Ukrainians to open fire. And it is just over there. They say that Russian Wagner mercenaries appear to try and run at them, exposing Ukrainian positions so the Russian artillery can hit where they are. The fields between them charred, pockmarked. They are almost eyeball to eyeball. The next attack is imminent. We can see a mortar unit, the drone operator says. They're preparing to fire at us. Down in the shelter, the commander says they've captured Russian convicts who were recruited to fight. It was get shot or surrender for the convict, he says. Wagner act professionally, not like usual infantry units. Shells continue to land all around them. Bakhmut is a mess. Russia edging towards it, but not inside. Prepared for street to street fighting, and meanwhile torn to pieces. The losses are heavy in exposed positions around the city, particularly here. Russia's invasion tearing through the green treasured land it claims to covet. Why do they want Bakhmut so much? They retreated elsewhere and they need a victory, something significant, he says, so they throw forces here. Of course we have casualties, not today in our unit, but you can't avoid dead or wounded, sometimes heavily injured. I lost my close friend five days after we came here. A few roads away, Andre is cycling home. His eyes tell you how life is here. First the shooting, but there's no electricity or water. It's not too bad. Only every second house is ruined. There are still many people here buying a lot of Natalia's potatoes. We sold half a ton today, she says. Who knows if the shelling is coming or going. Don't be scared, she said. <laughs> 24 hours later, and Ukrainian artillery is hitting positions on the city's edge amid reports Russia has got closer. Much fresh smoke, and it's always hard to know what Moscow thought it was hitting. Walking home with a squeaky wheel and food is Maria, back to her son. <laughs> Silence and terror, in turn, enveloping the city. Nick Payton-Walsh, CNN, Bakhmut, Ukraine.